Welcome back to Setpoint. Today we're going to talk about theoretical to actual integrated solutions for manufacturers. Let's just assume at this point you've already selected an automation integrator, a vendor that you've done business with in the past or that has a great track record that's done similar uh, projects of the scope and magnitude that you've identified in your scope of work. So let's assume that's in place. Now the next process going forward is to work with that vendor through the iterative process to come up with the solution that exactly meets your needs. One of the very first steps that they should go through is to look into industry and find out if there's any available components that are off the shelf that would meet your needs. It may not be the entire solution that you're looking for, but it might be a, a specific or very key component of that solution that needs to be integrated. It's far better to find a solution that's already out there that's been tested and proven that you can merely integrate into that final solution for the customer. So you've got a few key components picked out now. You're starting to see the architecture of this overall solution come into place. What you want to do now is get on a whiteboard, get with the team, get with the best minds that you've got available, and start sketching out the overall architecture of the solution. This is a great way of doing it, working on a whiteboard versus going to a solid model CAD station and trying to come up with these solutions. It's not only slow and cumbersome, but it doesn't really lend itself to a group brainstorming environment. We have some high-level concepts on the whiteboard. Now we've got to convert those into a CAD file. We need to use different CAD tools to now find out if our space requirements, our process flow, uh, our different components are all going to fit together for that solution. So what we're really driving to now is what's called preliminary design review. This is when we sit down with the customer, take the high level concepts off the whiteboard, put them into a CAD station, and really understand if we're headed in the right direction or not. During the preliminary design review, a lot of different things will get flushed out, some concepts that may not work, some iterations on concepts that are almost there but just need to be tweaked a little bit. And what we do is we take all that information and we start going towards finalizing. Our next goal is to present our final solution to the customer in what's called an FDR or a final design review. This is when the system is really looking like it's going to end up looking. There still may be minor tweaks but for the most part all the major components are in place, all the process flow, all the man, material, methods, machine componentry and everything has all been thought out and put in place. So we got parts coming in, they're procured, they're starting to come into the shop we're getting things assembled. The machine is really starting to take shape. What I want to caution you of is you need to anticipate a few tweaks or resolutions to problems during the assembly process. There's always a few things you can never anticipate or see in a 3D CAD model that you'll realize during the assembly process. Plan on this. So we got a machine assembled. Now we've got to program it. That means controls engineers need to get together and, and kind of breathe the breath of life into all this automation that we've put together and make sure that it functions properly. One caution is many situations we have a schedule that's put together and because the controls engineers are at the very end of the process their schedule is usually compressed quite a bit. You really need to make sure that the controls engineers have enough time to perform debug and put the right controls in place for the automation to function properly. So now we have a machine, but during this entire process, one thing I left out which you cannot let slide is great communication between integrator and customer. Our hope at the end of the project is that we've solved the issues and realized the results that you're looking for with the solution and that at the end of the day there are no surprises. Setpoint is the leader in lean automation solutions. For over 17 years we have delivered custom solutions to a broad variety of industries.